Uh, all right, well, apparently that was cool <laughs> on that last one. Um, you know what? I know that uh, I've been wondering, you've been wondering, the MMA fans out there, we get this thing from whatever happened to, and it's like a fighter, sometimes we get requests by uh, you know some of the fans saying, hey, whatever happened to so-and-so or this guy mm-hmm. or that guy? Well, whatever happened to Heath Herring? Yeah, you're right. Whatever or happened Keith to Keith Hackney. <laughs> that's, a, that's for another segment, I believe. So Still one of the big impressed. stars. Also go, go ahead and Google him. The guy, he, he beat the big, huge sumo guy. Yeah, I did. Uh, had a great fight with Hoist Gracie. Yeah. Kimpo yeah. Karate. I mean, he's got a, he's got a, uh, a studio somewhere, I believe, in Texas or something. Like that. So somewhere. he's still training in him somewhere. But this is not a Keith Hackney segment. Yeah, we want Keith Hackney on the show. Yes. I think he's going to do it, but, you know, yeah, I just like that. I thought he was a bigger, he's, name, bigger name on the other line. Yeah, you know I guess mean? so. Maybe he had Hoist Gracie on the other line. Anyway, whatever happened to Heath Herring? Heath Herring, he hasn't fought in more than two years since dropping the unanimous decision to Brock Lesnar. Yeah, since his head almost got decapitated. <laughs> Remember that shot? you got to give him credit, too, dude. He took a freaking sledgehammer. I mean, literally, it was like a cartoon. Remember his head? His body was there, and his head actually went about a foot and a half. It's like a like, Pez like, Yeah. I think it, it, it did like, you know, full like Bugs Bunny shot or like the Roadrunner when he's always getting... Uh, he's always hitting that uh, coyote. But see, at that point, I was very skeptical of Brock, and I was like, no, no, no. He just glanced. He's <laughs> yeah, glancing seriously, blow. Seriously. Glancing blow. I mean, I, I'm, that's why. He probably Glancing. Had, he, 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 exactly. Of soft I think I might have even went with Herring because of the wily veteran that yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I might have. Yeah, exactly. You win those challenges. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You don't. I've won before. It, 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 somewhere in the record books. Check it out. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was a tough unanimous decision loss there to Brock Lesnar back at UFC 87. <laughs> he has like a beat block. He probably has like a blank spot of like 10 years of his life from that shot, <laughs> dude. But possibly, and that's why he you know, was yeah. down wandering aimlessly. He's treating me there. like a boomer. <laughs> yeah. In, uh, this happened back in August 2008 with the Lesnar fight, UFC 87. Uh, but after that, he went on a little bit of an acting stint. Uh, the heavyweight veteran is now eyeing, or eyeing a return to MMA, but he is asking for his release from the UFC first. You yeah, they hit too hard. <laughs> he says, there were a couple of times since the Lesnar fight where the UFC wanted me to go overseas and do a fight for them, but it was tough, uh, Herring mentioned. There's supposedly... Uh, I'm free and clear, but the UFC is able to match any offer I get for a year. I have had some offers, but I'm not sure if the UFC would let me sign somewhere else. I've been in eight movies in about two years. It's kind of weird uh, to not have a fight to look forward to, but I try to keep myself busy with work and uh, you know have a good goal uh, goal to work towards. Now, the Lesnar loss moved the pride better in Herring, 28 and 14 to 2 and 3 in the UFC, uh, joining losses to Jake O'Brien, Antonio Rodrigo de Nogueira, as well as wins over Brad Ein and Czech Congo. So, but I thought it was interesting. If the guy wants to get back and start fighting, why not fight for the greatest promotion you're under contract with? Why yeah. is he wanting to release the fight elsewhere? Yeah, I don't know. Unless there's a certain fighter he wants to fight, you know, he wants to fight it. Kimbo. In, in strike force. Well, I'm sure he would love to fight Kimbo. He'd love to fight an easy fight. Yeah. But, I mean, whether he thinks there's more money elsewhere, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Other than the fact that there's there's a lot of great competition, yeah. maybe he doesn't want to be a stepping stone for an up and coming guy. You know, um, I I think uh, there's a lot. Of, I think there's a lot of good fights. He still has a name, and you're right, he is that wily veteran, mm-hmm. and uh, so I can see some good things coming from him. But yeah, I don't know. That's uh, that's an interesting. And plus the fact that he doesn't want the UFC to beat whatever the price is. It was, was kind of like saying he knows he's going to get paid peanuts, but yeah. maybe he wants some easy fights. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if if he has. If they match an offer like he's getting, like you get ten thousand dollars from some promotion in the UFC, so yeah, I'll match that. Okay, we're going to pay you ten thousand dollars. You're going to go up yeah. against King Velasquez, you know, or whatever. So uh, yeah, maybe there uh, that might be the issue. He wants to kind of get himself a retooled a bit. But I'm sure yeah. if he talked with uh, uh, Joe Silva and Ben White and said, "Hey, look, I'm you know, I've been out out for two years now. Can you, uh, you know, give me uh, you know more of a setup fight here for you know not yeah. not a can necessarily, but don't don't throw me a top three or four guy. Yeah. So, but anyway, that, ladies and gentlemen, is what happened to me there. 